Without a doubt, having kids before marriage has increasingly become popular. As of 2012, more than half of under 30-year-old unmarried women had kids. New research from John Hopkins University has shown childbirth outside of marriages has increased on all educational levels. 1996, only 4% of college-educated women in their 30s had their first babies. Fast forward 20 years later, it has increased six-folds to 24.5%. While some people or organizations might think this is damaging to the American society, some others tend to differ. This started off as an accident, but it's kind of like a great accident. I can understand why people are discouraged. They see their parents and their parents' generation getting divorced. I've got two awesome grandkids that were both born before my kids got married. I was excited that my son was having a baby, but it also scared me. It was his first date, his first time having sex. I had two before my ex-husband and I got married. As to why, I think I was young and impulsive and you know, really thought that I was ready for children at the time. We're financially equipped, mm -hmm. you know. How old are you guys, if I may ask, and could you mind disclosing your occupations as well? I'm 22 and my dad owns a company locally, um, and I, I just work for him. I'm 25 and I'm a <laughs> fitness trainer, I'm a boxing trainer. Based off of the small sample size I talked to of people who have lived this life or know people who have lived this life, I thought it was interesting how all of them welcomed their first kid in their early 20s. I was 21 when I had my first child. I just wanted kids. I was at a priority at 21. Um, you know, I just always wanted children, um, even as a young girl. Um, I wanted a family. I didn't necessarily... Um, want a traditional family. Did it ever cross your mind where you were unsure <laughs> that you would be keeping that child? Did you ever consider termination or adoption or anything of that sort? Um, definitely, like, initially finding out that there's a split second where I'm like, am I ready for this? Uh, you know, just specifically, you know, having a baby, the actual act of it. it ha it's a split second, it popped in my mind, but then I was like, wait, no. I'm, we're good for this. This is good. I was so nervous to tell my parents because they're, I come from a very conservative family. Yeah. <laughs> but um, they were, they received it so well. They were so excited. For my mom's, everyone, she was like, oh, okay, cool, another grandchild. So she was hyped. She was really hyped. Having two parents in any situation is always better than, than one. I think a child does better when they know they're loved, whether it's one people or two people. I, I think children adapt. I would think living together would come first in most situations, but in this world, it is what it is. Do you encourage living together before marriage? I'm not against it. Exploring the experiences of other fathers, I've learned that being a father is no easy fit. And when you're young, it can make the journey even more challenging. So I decided to check in with Sean. We're already married. We wouldn't have that doubt of what if we break up. It made me realize I need to grow up faster than what I was doing. I want her to, you know, to grow up to know us, just us as one. I was afraid of commitment before because I'm like, I'm always one leg in, one leg out with everything I do. But I'm like, let's go all in. Like, we got the family starting. I know I'm be with you anyway. So like, let's might as well tie the knot. April 19th, we are getting married. Congrats again on that. That's really big news. Well, I'm excited for you guys. Similar to being a father, being a mom can be just as challenging, if not more. I am so happy that I'm starting early. I am so grateful to be getting started early because I want to have a lot of kids and I want to be a young mom. <laughs> I don't care for having kids or anything. I think people are having more sex than they used to, depending on the time that, that you're talking about, right? Overpopulation is like a big problem, and I also just like don't see myself as like, I don't want to like spend my whole life like taking care of someone else. It's not right, so I'm, I'm, I, don't, I wouldn't want to do that. Health and biology is like a big factor into it. It's like better to have kids earlier, and we're taught that too, and I feel like there's more science with like women's health and all of that that helps us make that decision. Yeah, my parents did that. They, they had a kid early. They, I was the firstborn, so I was early. They had you before they got married? Yeah. How, how did that turn out for you? Oh, uh, well, they're, 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 they got married eventually, but they got divorced, so. I think it's about freedom, yeah, and like independence. You don't think it's a better structure to be in a marriage and then introduce a child into the world? I you don't think that's important? I, I don't, I think like in this day and age, it doesn't really matter as much. <laughs> so a lot of people tend to view marriage as, oh, when I'm more financially stable, then I'm gonna get married. 
but I'm okay with having a kid. Marriage is just the socially acceptable way to bond two people together, and that's not something you need to do, to do that, I guess. Like, when we were cavemen, like, we didn't have marriage, I guess. We just, like, were together. You don't want to raise a kid with someone that you can't tolerate. Also, like, financially, like, we can be independent, you know what I mean? It was harder to do that decades ago, but, like, now it's easier to have finances set up for you and a child. You said you're married. Why don't you think about having a kid with him first before deciding to get married to him? We're both Christians, and so we, that's one of our personal values is to just wait until we're married to have kids. Also getting married doesn't mean you're gonna stay married. You, so you could, so true. So you could get divorced, but hey, you have two, three kids. What do you do then? To do what's best for the kid, not what's best for you. Do you know Jordan Peterson? He said getting married is not for you, but it's for the kid. Would you encourage someone else to take that path you took? No. If you're gonna have a family, if you really want children, then it's worth the effort to put, you know, to have a marriage as well. It can affect the kid, sure, but like, it can also affect the kid if you're like in a marriage and then like, it doesn't work out and then like, you know, you just have parents who hate each other or then they end up getting divorced anyways. You can always get married in my mid-30s, but I can always have a kid in my mid-30s. Do you yeah. think that's a valid point? I think that is valid biologically. I think that would be a good excuse. Women should not, your priority should not be about your age when it comes to children. It should be about how prepared you are. Your values and practicality are always gonna butt heads. So it's whether you want a kid more biologically or if you want to have a connection with someone, so. It's 2024. Women aren't as confined to marriage as they used to be in terms of sex. Same with men. Men can like kind of just do what they want. I think we live in a more promiscuous society. There's also more contraceptions. There is more, con I know, there is more contraception, which is a really interesting thought. I think just the amount of people just having sex just out outweighs the amount of people who know about contraception. Do you know about contraceptions? Tell me in the comment section down below. That brings me to the end of this video. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. My objective for this video is not to see who is right or who is wrong, but to understand the reason behind people's actions. So let's encourage more healthy conversations. Let me know your thoughts on the topic in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Much love. How do you feel about having kids without being married?